Hello viewers, Ness Gal here. I want to show you an ebonite rod. I've been uh, playing with this. And here's a little electroscope. There's a little bit of charge left on there. Can't get it to um, charge up from any other material except my hair. I'm rubbing this on my hair right now. You can see the reaction on the electroscope. Pretty strong reaction. And same deal with the water. I also tried to impart a charge to the rod using uh, the negative terminal of the high voltage power supply that you saw in the video where I was trying to do the uh, water bridge thing and nothing, I couldn't impart a charge whatsoever to the material with either the positive or the negative wire um, which I find rather interesting, I couldn't influence the electroscope at all with that device again which I find rather interesting uh, seems to be a bit of a difference between the two yeah stay there focus I'm just going to charge up another rod this is a piece of uh, conduit and again it's holding the same charge as the ebonite and we know that because if I add that charge to that charge it increases rather than decreases so let's charge them both up. Check this out. Usually with a bit of water on there it doesn't like it. And because this has a larger circumference, the field is somewhat stronger. If you put them side by side, you can see that one has a different sort of size to the charge. See here, they're about the same distance apart from the central stream. The orange one uh, deflects it more. And, um, so this is the recommended material for a spacer in a Joe cell and it holds an extremely good static charge and apparently doesn't um, we call it doesn't leak anyway I thought I'd just show you how it behaved and I also wanted to um, just bring up the idea that you know, even trying to charge this with a positive or negative high voltage does not achieve a static charge. Unless it's a Wimhurst machine, I guess. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.